the internet now is pulling up old Dirk songs that sound a certain way and no, and the nigga, paint a certain The nigga's picture. album cover had a scoreboard. What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode. Please like the video and subscribe. Our target is only a thousand likes. So Grammy Award winning rapper Lil Duck, recognized as one of the leaders of the Chicago drill hip hop music scene, has been arrested and is being held without bond in Florida on a charge of murder for hire. Lil Duck, whose real name is Duck Banks, was booked into the Broward County Jail by US Marshals on Thursday according to jail records obtained by multiple media outlets. Lil Duck's arrest came on the same day it was revealed that several other members of the Only the Family hip hop collective were taken into custody as part of a federal indictment issued in California related to an alleged effort to carry out a revenge killing in retaliation for the death of an OTF member in 2020. Without specifically naming him, information contained in the indictment and sealed Thursday makes it clear the shooting victim in question was Devon Bennett, also known as King Von, who was part of OTF. Bennett was killed after getting into an altercation with a person only identified as TB. Afterwards, an OTF member identified as co-conspirator one stated they would pay a bounty to anyone who took part in killing TB. The internet now is pulling up old Dirk songs that sound a certain way and, no, and the nigga, paint a certain The nigga's picture. album cover had a scoreboard up there of us versus y'all and nigga, we winning. <laughs> like... How many niggas we murk versus how many niggas y'all murk? And that's and what's going that on. That don't mean that was true, though. It don't. It, it, we don't know. Nobody knows. We're not that close. Mm -hmm. Thank God we're not that close to the situation to know if it's true or not. But. Just the it idea. Looks, it looks the way. The optics. It looks the way. That fucking song with the choir saying, oh, my life. Oh, I love that a bit, man. Yo, dog. Who the fuck do y'all think y'all are fooling with this stuff? All of this key to the city. Yo, you uh, know what my problem is? Let me talk, and then you can go ahead. Like, some of us come from hoods where we know killers. We've spoken to some of them. Some of them got good hearts. So we, we understand. Some of us come from places where some killers we understand, so we do have an empathy that is not present in modern day society. And that's how they could tell that we from where we from, because we kind of, in a sick, twisted way, get it. Get some of that. And rationalize. Some of that. And I'm not saying that's okay, but that exists in some of us. Mm -hmm. We have to draw a line between that and just romanticizing bad killers. Y'all niggas, whoever this applies to, are not good at killing. Y'all are missing your target, hitting another target, going to rap about it, killing a kid, killing a mom, killing in the daytime, killing at a mall, killing in very crowded fucking areas, killing over nothing. You niggas are killing over absolutely nothing. And then rapping about it. Yeah, so that's my problem. Like, I want to I separate the people that have that type of empathy that I'm speaking about. Because those people that I'm talking about, I never spoke to one of them. And they was like, all right, Mouse, I'm about to run this bodega and just let everybody in there have it. Since Elon Musk purchased X, my For You tab is nothing but those types of senseless murders. It's dudes running in check cashing spots with AR-15s and just wiping everybody out. Like, this shit is a mess out here. And thirdly, if there was anybody who we would totally understand, you making a decision to change your life around and live differently and maybe turn your back to some of the things that was going on previously, it's Dirk. It's Dirk. What else needs to happen? They've killed people close to you. They've killed your family. They've run in your house while you and your queen were sleeping. If he were to say, hey, you know what, dog? I'm cool. I'm gonna take my $60 million. And my children. And go to Colorado. Mm -hmm and rap from there, never to be seen again. I think everybody would say, hey, you know what? I get that. <laughs> I get that. That's never the fucking choice. That's never the route chosen. 
I don't get it. Again, he'll have his day in court, so I'm not I'm not really getting into him. They'll have to prove that what they're saying about him is true. Mm-hmm. But for the niggas that they nad, they talking about they got somebody that was wearing a wire for 12 years. Mm-hmm. No, he came home from 12. He had it for years, though. All right, he came home from 12, had a wire on him, and was wearing the wire for years. You- got it. Got it. Damn. For the niggas that they nabbed, though, they got the shooters. They got the shooters already. Hey, there was 20 million cameras over there on Sunset at 3 o'clock that day. You boarded the plane with your name. We got the text. We got, we got you receiving the money. That's where the problem is. It's not that it was just a murder for hire. We have the money being paid. Unlike, uh, unlike uh, Dolph, where they was talking about it was a murder for hire. We never got paid. So that made it fuzzy. These people got received money. Whoever these people are. So now they got to track it. The crazy shit be, you got the money on Zelle or Venmo or Cash App or some wild shit. Like, if that is the case. Yeah. It's just Yo, these are senseless (sighs) crimes that don't appear to have much thought um, going into it other than uh, violent emotional reaction and response. And it's a shame to keep seeing it happen to the people that, that, that found a way. To the people that hit the lotto. That's these opportunities we're talking about don't just pop up for people. It's it's like it is like hitting the lotto. I wish that we would cherish it more. I wish that we would value ourselves and each other just more than to keep doing that. That's all. I That's think all I'm done. I, and oh, dirt came from where it came from. He'll have his day. He'll have his day in court. So we'll see what part he has played. In any of this, but that to the side, mm-hmm. like I was telling Jay Wan earlier, King Von and and Kwan, uh, no, no, no. Young Boy, Young Boy beef wasn't over nothing. It wasn't over absolutely nothing. So it start there for me. I ain't got to get into where everybody came from and what we seen and what we witnessed and who shot and who got killed. Mm-hmm. Y'all niggas don't be fighting over nothing. That was nothing. So now for that to escalate to. The shit we witnessed in the parking lot with Vaughn, and it was going to be carryover from that. We saw Quando Rondo reach out to fucking, um, uh, what was that Big U? Big, U. we just seen him. We seen him for a few years, look afraid for his life. We seen this all. So I mean, I don't want to hear. We know too much. These niggas is putting it in songs. These niggas That's is true. putting it on Instagram reels. That's true. These niggas are detailing and laying these things out. And the cops have always been online since online been there. That's true. true. They they watching. Like, niggas at some point have to hold themselves accountable for the part they play in a designed in- ecosystem. I agree with that. That's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. So yeah. this is real unfortunate. And these are some of the same details that came up in the, in the YSL case. Mm-hmm. And these are some of the, listen, the Rico lady down there said, yo, we coming with Ricos now. Like, if that didn't send a memo to people, hey, we are aggressively targeting y'all Yo. entertainers and rappers that are blurring the lines with your companies and your street ties. I'm on the other edge of this. Have at it. And the only I'm, t- I'm mad I even got to come in here and talk about some of this shit. But the only reason I'm on the other edge of this is because we seen, like, from the older artists, right? And we seen and experienced... Oh, them, they not like that. They're not like that. You feel me? We always hear this. That artist not like that. They not on that. Now you see in a generation where artists are actually doing the things they saying. Mm-hmm. And it's like, now you have the old artist saying, oh, them niggas are stupid. But for years, we heard y'all calling each other out saying, oh, he ain't on that. He ain't like that. And there's no guidance. There's no, yo, don't do it that way. Let me show you how to do it. The only person who tried to do that is Wallow. And he's not even able to give guidance because he's in a position now where he can tell you where everything already started. There was no artist that took none of the younger artists from when they came in and was like, yo, hold on. I've been down that road. Let me guide you and show you how to switch it around. And that's why I have a disdain for, I would say, some of the older artists or the people on social media judging how everything's playing out because you got to remember, we all around the same age, at least me and these artists. There's no 
Yo, low bro, this ain't how you do that. Like, you feel me? They wait till it happen and then chastise us. But a lot of times the young niggas don't listen anyway. Niggas will listen to an old nigga who's coming from a like where it feels sincere. When it don't feel sincere and it feel like you talking at us, then you're so gonna get that you, pushback. How, so how do you deliver a message if if I'm speaking to you from what I know and my experience and this is the way I know how to convey the message? Why take it so personal instead of absorbing the knowledge? I had niggas do that to me where at a young age I took it personal until I realized, like, nigga, no, he was just, that was the way that he conveyed his message, and I should have listened because he ended up, whatever he said, ended up happening. No, I feel I feel like it's two ways to answer mm-hmm. that. Like, mm-hmm. one, it's hard to listen to a nigga who you feel you may have more money or motion than. That's True. one. That's big. Two, and it's how the message is said and the tone in which it's conveyed. Like, it's always, like, we had this conversation last pod. Mm-hmm. It's the tone in which a person addresses you and brings it to you. Like, I would say from how I've seen it, and we've seen different interviews where older artists be like, oh, these niggas are stupid. It's how they say it. The only one we've really seen come from a place of, like, it sound like they cared sincerely was Wallow. And we've seen them do that with Thug in them and with Dirk in them. It, it's really a matter of how I don't even it. like you saying that. By the time it get to Wallow, something is wrong. No, by the time it got to Wallow, why, no, that was my you, point. That's what I was saying. It really be, was in motion. We no, no but we that's already the are you, murdering niggas. Yeah, you coming? You coming to Wallow to promote your album? You're coming to Wallow to do a podcast. It just so happens he gonna give you he gonna give you the he good word you the head while good. you're here on your album rollout. That means that this shit that's been in play. The problem has been. Been in effect. I don't know what all this shit y'all saying has to do with senseless killing to me. Like, it's just senseless now. Yeah, I don't think you should need 50 Cent to come and yeah, say, I don't am. pay yeah. people to murder people. Nor do, right? Like, oh my God. And, but, if somebody got to say, yo, don't rent a car in your name and give it to somebody to kill somebody, we pass mentorship. That's true. Not just that. We pass mentorship. You're real, one. And two, you talking about it's hard to respect niggas when you got more money and more motion. We've had this talk up here before too. What they're doing in the streets today is going off how many bodies you got. So now you asking, listen to what you asking for old OGs to do. You asking for us to go and insert ourselves in the fray of niggas with five, seven, ten, fourteen, 15. twenty bodies. Yes. Who is volunteering to do that at eighteen? At nineteen. Who is-